Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Closet Reviewer channel. And why do I say good morning? Because it is a morning for me. Indeed, I woke up a couple of hours ago. I just managed to brush my teeth and do a little bit of makeup because today is the day when we are going to test drive the lipstick that we had ordered a couple of weeks ago. And you can have a look at the video how we had chosen the color by clicking on the window that is appearing on your screen. This is the lipstick that we ordered. It is from the brand called my cosmetics locked kiss ink and the shade that we had chosen was the mallet over and over so today we are going to apply this lipstick and i will be taking uh, videos or photos throughout the day to see if it will stay indeed for uh, 24 hours on my lips well i don't think that i will be able to test it 24 hours because i will have to go to bed at some point but we are going to give it a good test drive no mercy we're gonna eat we're gonna drink and let's see if it lasts as uh, the brand promises to us i'm going to open the box with the lipstick and to be honest with you i had some issues with my delivery this is why it took me so long to record this video first of all when we had chosen the color i did the order straight away and when i received my parcel the lipstick was missing yes so i had to reorder it again and after a couple of days i received an email from max saying that the lipstick is out of stock so at the end, I ordered this lipstick at John uh, Lewis and it arrived uh, the next day. I've asked to deliver it to uh, the closest Waitrose shop that we have. And yes, I was looking forward to try it in front of you for, uh, for many days. Here it is, this is how it looks like. And let's try to apply it. And today I have a little brush with me that will help me to, uh, to apply it on the contour of my lips. Let's open it. There it is. I can feel already the lipstick drying on my lips. The lipstick is quite sticky now on my lips and I think that this feeling will go when it uh, dries uh, completely. Yeah, I can feel it, it is getting a little bit uh, better. I have the impression, and uh, let me know if you agree with me in the comments, that the color that is currently on my lips is not exactly as the color that was shown on the screen when we tried this lipstick virtually on, on the MAC website. Look at that. What do you think? Is it the same or not? I have the feeling that it's not. Uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. But um, I, I'm, to be honest with you, I like this color. The feeling on the lips currently is very nice. It's like I don't have lipstick at all, so I cannot feel it really. And let's see how it goes uh, throughout the day. And now I'm going to have some like breakfast and let's see if the lipstick will survive it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Check, check after uh, my breakfast. As you can see, the lipstick is on my lips and nothing has changed. Usually when I wear the normal lipsticks, uh, the inside uh, color has gone and only the contour stays on the lips. I wiped my lips as well and there is nothing, nothing <laughs> at all <laughs> on the tissue. I must say that this lipstick has a very good chance to win this challenge and I will keep you posted for the rest of the day. So it's been a couple of hours that I'm wearing this uh, lipstick. I've had a few coffees, I had uh, water. Uh, first of all, the feeling on the lips is amazing. You don't really I feel that you're wearing a lipstick, especially a smudge-proof, waterproof lipstick that uh, would last for many hours. Usually uh, the lipsticks that uh, stay on your lips for long, they give this um, uh, dry feeling on your lips. But this one, mm -mm, it's, it's very nice. The feeling is very nice on the lips. So let's see how the rest of the day will go. So guys, it's uh, lunchtime and I have some 
uh, chicken with some grains. The lipstick has a little bit uh, faded uh, in the middle of my lips. So now I have started questioning if it will even survive 10 hours on my lips. <laughs> Let's have uh, uh, the lunch and uh, see how well my lips will uh, look like. <laughs> guys so i've just finished my uh, lunch and i must admit that i'm not 100 percent happy how my lips look like you can see that in between my two lips the uh the color has faded and it's more like a contour around my lips so i think that this lipstick can survive probably your breakfast and a couple of hours of eating something or uh, drinking coffees and water but you would need to reapply the lipstick for sure after your lunch there is no way it would last 24 hours especially if the food that you're eating is uh, quite oily well i will keep uh, recording myself in a couple of uh, hours time again after a few snacks and to see probably that the color has faded completely from the lips. <laughs> hey guys, so it's time to do, I think, the final check-in for the lipstick. It's been almost half of the day and the lipstick has faded from my lips. The only thing that I can see is the contour. So this is definitely a no from my side. This lipstick wouldn't last for 24 hours on your lips. Of course, if you're trying to preserve the color and eat less or eat less oily food, then maybe it would survive at least half of the day. Or if you would try to apply several layers and leave the layers to dry between them, maybe this is when you would have a better coverage and the color probably might stay on your lips. But from me, it's a no. I would treat it like a normal lipstick, knowing that I will have to reapply at some point during uh, the day. But the texture of it is uh, very nice. It feels very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't dry out the lips. So treat it like a normal lipstick then. And guys, if you have already tried this lipstick and you managed to preserve it for 24 hours, I would like you to share your tips with me in the comments. If you like the video, just put your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and i hope that i will speak to you very very soon bye